doing? It's your girl, Miss Debs. I'm giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today, this is a two-part video. It's very quick, so I'm going to be talking fast. Um, we're going to do the continuation of the Bible in 52 weeks for women. Let's get this started. I don't even say the weeks anymore. We're just doing it and we're going through the book. Okay. Um, it's praying time. Daily readings, Chronicle 23 to 26, day 2. Chronicles 27 and 29, day 3. Chronicles 1 to 3, day 4. Chronicles 4 to 7, day 5. Chronicles 8 to 10, day 6. Chronicles 11 to 13. And then on a seven day, what guys? We catch up on reading that we may have missed. Okay, let's get to start. We live in a time of turbulence. The fact is we can look at the world and complain about how badly things are going. We may blame the decay of our society on government leaders and sit around and cry, woe is me, for all this going wrong in our communities. However, scripture makes it very clear that no matter what it looks like across the nation, God's people have the power, authority, and responsibility to turn things around through the power of prayer, folks, prayer. In Chronicles 2-7, we find God answering the prayers of Solomon and the children of Israel. They had just built the temple in Jerusalem, and everything seemed to be going as it should. However, Solomon knew the temperament of the people, so he prayed and asked God to have mercy on the people when they got off track and began to operate in error. He asked God what they should do when times got hard and pestilence and famine hit the land. It took God a little while to answer, but Solomon kept praying. When God doesn't answer when we think he ought to, we have the tendency to stop praying. I have been known for that. I'm guilty of that. I have done that before. But that's not the time to get slack. It's the time to press on in prayer even more. That's what Solomon did. He prayed and made sacrifices to God on the altar for seven days. On the eighth day, he sent the people home. That very night, God finally spoke to Solomon and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. He went on to say that if he didn't let the rain fall or sent locusts to devour the land, all the people would have to do is pray. In verse 14, God says, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and heal their land. He said he'd do it for them because they're his people. he chosen them as his own. He knew what was in their hearts, and he watched over them and listened for their cry. No matter what they came up against, God would be there ready to help. That same promise has been applied to our lives today. We must do our part. We must pray humble ourselves and seek his face and turn from wicked ways, from our wicked ways. This passage in Chronicles 2 shows, shows us that after we do our part, he'll heal what has been torn apart. When we do our part, we will have to trust him in his, to keep his word concerning our lives. Without a doubt, it's praying time. Points to ponder. Knowing what we play a part in, knowing that we play a part in our answered prayers, what part do you find most difficult for you to deal with? We're told to pray, humble ourselves, and turn from our wicked ways. Is there any one of these that you have knowingly failed to do? I know I have. Going forward, which area within this, with, within these mandates will you intentionally make an effort to grow in? Actions for the week. This week, be very intentional in your time of prayer. Make a list of those things you're seeking God for. Include issues regarding family, work, finances, and most importantly, things to help you grow spiritually. I hope, as I always say, this has been an enlightenment to someone. Because I don't just do this for me, guys. Which I get a, um, a, a feeling of acceptance and believing in Christ and moving forward and being steadfast and have perseverance to follow Christ. This makes me do that. But it also gives me a chance to talk to people people that don't know about this book or don't know about the goodness of God to give them a chance to also engage in it and find some goodness out of it and maybe it can get them through their day or what they're going through or their week. Guys, there's a part two to this video. I had cooked a meal and it's a very inexpensive meal. It was fast to cook. Um, 
and I call it a gourmet meal. So you're going to check out part two of this video. Please watch it in its entirety, okay, guys? I thank you so much. Thank you for watching, taking the time out of your busy day to come aboard, Miss Debs. This was supposed to be done on Wednesday, but you know, folks, if I'm a little busy Wednesday, um, not that I'm too busy for the Lord. Wait a minute, Noah. Sorry. Not that I'm too busy for the Lord, but I will um, postpone it till either Thursday. I won't go no further than Thursday. So this is it. Check out the whole video. God bless you. I love you. Peace. Hey guys, how you doing? It's your girl, Miss Debs, coming to you from Deborah's Delicious Dishes Kitchen here in Orange, New Jersey, giving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because he's so worthy to be acknowledged. I'm going to make a gourmet meal that's quick, simple, and easy to make, very inexpensive, and it looks like it came out of a five-star restaurant, but these are the ingredients that we're using. We're using Gardein. Sweet and sour porkless bites. We're using rice land, rice and easy, Tuscan garlic herb flavored rice. I have two packages of that, two packages of the porkless bites. We have some corn. We have red pimentos. And we have green onions. Let's get this started. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Bang. I have two tablespoons of my filler pepperoncini oil my olive oil that I make. I have the two packages of the garden porkless bites, sweet and sour porkless bites in here. And we're letting that go. You're supposed to let it cook for like 10 to 12 minutes. And we're going to just keep uh, flipping them over. Over here I have the sauce, the sweet and sour sauce, the two packages in a bowl of hot water to just like, you know, play, um, mellow it out, make it defrost. And also get a little warm. And we're going to put that over top. You're going to see how I'm going to do it. Now I put the rice in the microwave. And I'll be back with you. Guys, so I have my timer on for 10 minutes. I have these going. So we're going to let them go. And then I have the rice, like I said, in the microwave. And you're going to see how this all comes together. Quick, fast, and in a hurry meal. Very inexpensive. And also, it doesn't take long to cook. And it's a good meal. And it looks like gourmet quality. Guys, one more thing I want to add. I have this on medium heat, right? So once they cook, and it's not 12 minutes, it's 9 minutes. I just had to read the um, package again. I hadn't made them in so long. So anyway, it's nine minutes, guys. So then you're going to let it sit for a minute afterwards. You're just going to keep on tossing them and moving them around after you let them sit for a minute just to get a little crustacean on them, okay? And so let's get this going. Also with the sweet and sour sauce, I added some sweet, sweet barrel aged bourbon. And I just put a little bit of that in there with the sauce right here and I might it just for a minute so now we have our rice down we have our corn I'll show you a pitch of it now we're going to put our pork bites in here yeah a little hot so excuse me flying all over the place and this was a quick meal and look the tray came from the dollar store dollar tree <laughs> yes sir and ma'am and the rice was $2.59 a bag. I had two bags of that. Whoa, these are hot. And I also, um, the, the green onions were $1.99. And the pimentos in the jar was $1.59. And the corn I already had. So now I'm going to put some green pep, I mean some uh, red pimentos on top. And I want you guys to comment this time and let me know how does this look. Now we're going to do our green onions to garnish it off. Just a little bit. Then I'll put my sauce on and I'll put the rest of the green onions on top. Check it out, guys. I'm not going to put all the sauce, but I am going to put some.
I want you to really let me know, would you try this? Oh, I did wind up using it all. Isn't that something? Okay, it's all good. Now we're going to garnish it again with some green onions. And this only took, I'm telling you guys, no more than 20 minutes to cook. Because remember, I miked the rice. I um put the pork bites on the stove for nine minutes. I thought it was 12, but it's only nine. And um, the corn I just put in the microwave and the vegetables that I garnished it with, I just cut it up on top. So I'm going to show you the final product. So guys, this is the beautiful masterpiece. I told you the tray. I didn't have to tell you that, but the, I'm just keeping it real. The tray came from the Dollar Tree. The um, I didn't give you the price on the pork bites. The pork bites are $4.79 or $4.49. I think it's $4.49. I got them from Walmart. And so two of those, you know, is like $9. And then the other food I calculated up to be. So altogether, it's around about $18 for this meal. No, 19 with the drink. This came from the Dollar Tree as well. It's a strawberry lemonade drink. How does that look? Do that look like a gourmet meal? I think so. And it tastes so good. That sauce, oh my God. Let me just let me just let you embrace all this goodness. A $18 meal, folks. Come on now. And it looked like it came out of a five-star restaurant. Well, to me it did, but I am biased, so you know. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. This meal only took no more than 20 minutes to make because the mic went, the rice went in the microwave. The corn was already made, but I put it in, I mean, you know, as far as like it came out the can, I put it in the microwave. The onions, the green onions and the uh, pimento, I just chopped them up, washed the green onions off, chopped up the pimentos, put them in little containers. And the pork bites, I put them in a skillet with my Stiller pepperoncini oil. To cook them up for nine minutes, then I let them sit for a minute. So that was 10 minutes there. The rice was only 90 seconds in the microwave. Quick, fast, inexpensive, gourmet looking meal. That's what I'm going to call this one. Thank you so much for joining me. Stick, stay tuned because I have the Bible in 52 weeks for women. I think I'm going to do the Bible uh, 52 weeks for women first and then I'll add this video on. So watch the whole video in its entirety. Come on.